All right, today I wanted to give you a short little preview of our next learning target for our equation chapter. And um, we're still in learning target two. We're still talking about solving two-step equations with fractions. However, you're gonna notice that for the next few days, with what we're practicing, when we have fractions in our equations, these two fractions here do not have the same denominator. So we're used to solving equations and clearing fractions that have the same number or just equations with one fraction. But with this learning target, we're gonna have two or more fractions and they're gonna have different denominators. So there's a little bit more of a process, which is why I wanted to give you a sneak peek before we dive into some practice. So what you're gonna to have to be doing first and foremost is find a least common multiple of those two denominators, which is why we did that a few chapters ago. So we're gonna to have to identify the least common multiple of four and six. The easiest way to do that, you guys, is to look at your multiplication chart. So if you have a multiplication chart, please bring that tomorrow. If not, you're gonna to have to list the, um, the least common multiple, or the multiples of each number. So I'm gonna do that real quick here. So four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. I'm gonna do the same thing with six. Six, 12, oh, right away. I see that my least common multiple is 12. So once you find that number, it's very, the process is the same, essentially, for the rest of the problem to solve it. I'm gonna draw my balance bar, and then I'm gonna multiply every single term by that LCM, which was 12. So I'm gonna multiply this by 12 over here, and I'm gonna multiply this fraction by 12. Okay, and let me show you what that's gonna look like when I multiply these by 12. So before, doing that would just simply cancel out my denominators. In this case, it will cancel out the denominators, but this number is just going to be smaller. Let me show you what I mean. If I, um, if I have 12 over four, there's a certain number I can cancel out of each, and it's gonna be four. So this four goes away, and if I take four out of 12, so 12 divided by four, that will give me three. So I'm not left with nothing on top here. I still have this three that I have to deal with. Okay, and then I'm gonna move over here. This six, that means I can take a six out of this 12, so I'm gonna cross out that six, it goes away. And if I divide 12 by six, I'm left with two, okay? So we didn't have to do that before. So now what's left on top is I'm gonna multiply, so three times two is six, I have six x equals, everything's gone except five times two is 10. So this process that we did up here got rid of my denominators. A little bit lengthy process, I know, um, but that's what we're gonna be practicing for the next few days. The rest of it is just simply doing the opposite. So you're left with x is equal to, simplified, this would be five over three. Okay, I know that's a lot, you guys. You might have to watch that a couple times to see what I did, but please be a little bit familiar with this process before you walk in the door tomorrow, okay? Don't expect you to have mastered it. We're gonna do a ton of practice together. All right, see you later.